Hi, and welcome to Wellness Workouts with Katrina. This is the standing workout that's just a simple one without any special equipment. All you'll need is just regular exercise clothes, some shoes with closed toe and closed heel. Check with your healthcare provider before starting or changing any exercise routine and feel free to add music. If you are doing the whole playlist, we just did the warm up and now we're getting into the meat of the workout. So here we go. We're gonna start with a march. Just like we did in the warm up, but feel free to add pumping arms and lift the knees higher as you need to to get your heart rate up. So you want to be breathing a little bit more hard as you go and maybe break a sweat. That usually indicates that you're working your heart and blood vessels very well. All right, we'll do four more. Three, two, go side to side. Step, touch, step, touch. Anything you want to with the arms. Now this step touch, can you can do a lot of different variations. If you have room to move up and back, you can do that. Or you can stay right here. So I'll show you what that looks like. Up, two, three, four, and back. Two, three. Make sure to clear some space if you're moving farther up or farther out in this workout. Keep moving up if you want. And moving back. Keep your feet wide right here. And we're going to shift our weight side to side. Adding arms. Now, to make this one bigger, go down and up a little bit more. Keep breathing. Make sure you get water throughout your workout as well. Four more. Arms front. We're going to take this to hamstring curls again. So the same thing we did with the warm up, but getting a little deeper into the move. So add a little squat here if you need to take your heart rate up higher. Four more. Three. Last one each side. And march. Good job, you guys. All right, we're going to take one foot forward, one foot back. Keep the feet wide. I'm going to turn sideways just a little bit. And we're going to shift our weight forward and back. So let's start with the arms low. So the palms are facing each other. And you're just reaching forward and back. If you want to take it a little harder, we're going to take the arm shoulder height. Pull back. Up and back. Face you again. This next one, we're going to play a little ball. All right, so we're going to take the feet up together, back together. This arm, the one opposite the front leg, is going to be throwing. Throw. Of course, I wouldn't recommend throwing balls in the house. <laughs> but if you're outside, you're welcome to add a ball here. You have to have a big basket of them handy. Four more. All right, step touch up, step touch back. Same leg in the front. Instead of tapping together, we're going to add a knee right here. Step, knee, step, back. Step, knee, step, back. I'm going to take it to tempo and turn sideways so you can see a little better what my legs are doing. Once again, swinging the arms, bigger arm moves means a higher heart rate. Four more. Looking good, you guys. We're going to take this knee to a kick if you want more. Now, on any of these exercises, if you're getting too much, go back to a march. Go back to a previous move. Just keep your feet moving. If you're not getting enough, add more intensity. Go farther out, go higher with your kick, or reach up, reach down, reach up, reach down. So you modify your workout to suit your needs. Four more. Last two. 
We're going back to a march. Here we go. March it out. Now we're going to change lead. Take this other leg forward. So I'm on the opposite leg. Turn sideways. We're going to shift our weight with the feet wide. Take it up and back. Add some arms. Reach. Reach and pull. Deep breathing. A lot of people think you have to jump, leave the floor to work out. That's high impact to exercise as opposed to low impact. But you can get a great workout without jumping. Arm shoulder height if you want a little more. Pull back and pull. I'm going to face you again. Now when you pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Get what you came for. Give you a hug. <laughs> Two more. Keep your feet moving, but we're going to step, touch up, step, touch back. Step, touch up, step, touch back. To get the tempo, opposite arm of the lead leg, we're going to throw that baseball or softball. This isn't fast pitch <laughs> for the softball, folks. Just a nice, easy lob. Turn sideways so you can see that a little better. Four more. Next time, just legs. We're going to pick up this knee. Step, knee, step, back. So again, I'll turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing a little better. Take it wider if you need more, or you can reach high and low, four more like this with the knee, three, last one like this, and then we're going to change to a kick, step, kick, step, back, step, kick, step, back, once again, if you want a lot more, reach high, reach low, so you can get what you want, Speed up your workout. Slow it down. It's all good. Just keep moving. Four more. Get ready to march after this one. Let's march it out. All right, hopefully your heart rate's up there. On a scale of 1 to 10, hopefully between 5 and 8 will get you your best cardiovascular benefits. All right, we're going to step backwards and then together. Backwards and together. Here we go. Step back, together, back, together. Back, together, back, together. Step back. Step back. So we're bringing down the pace just a little bit, bringing down the intensity of the workout. But we're still probably in that target heart rate range. Deep breathing. Let's do two more on each side. And then we're going to take it out to the side and do the same thing. So the next time out, we'll take it to the side. Step out and in. Step out and in. Take it out. Take it in. Take it out. Take it in. Take it out and in. Two more on each side. And back to your march. That concludes this section of the workout. If you're doing the playlist, we'll move right into the next section. So thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the workout so far. Get some water.